Happiness through curiosity on the Ranveer Show. Welcome to TRS Clips. All the Pakistanis I've met in Dubai or whenever I've traveled are really polite. Like everyone's really polite. I think it's like Urdu is like the main language versus, yeah, yeah. you know, here we have multiple languages, even though Hindi is like the main language. Everyone speaks different languages and Urdu has this nature of being really polite. Okay, that I don't know because I can't <laughs> translate. I feel people are super nice in both countries. I had a great experience in both countries. Um, and yeah, people always ask me the difference, you know, and I feel like especially at the border, you can see that people are very, very similar. Mm. And then obviously Mumbai is a very evolved city. Yeah. So I feel like you can see the differences there mm. that people are very like more liberal, more different mindset, you know, but I had such a good experience in both countries. Yeah. yeah. Uh, tell me about Pakistan, bro. Where, what else did you see there? Yeah. So basically the plan was just to travel for like three, four weeks start my channel, make some videos in the North. Mm. And then things happen, you know, like I told you, like I left Germany, then things happen. And I'm like always up for new things. I'm always up for adventure. Yeah. So then I met um, a big YouTuber over there who just came from Canada. We became good friends. We moved together. And then we started making videos together. So even during the pandemic, it was all fun. So you were going in the countryside in Pakistan? Like you were going inside? First, I went to the countryside, to the North. Yeah. Um, you know, the where Ladakh is bordering. Yeah, yeah. That, like that, the, that would be like Northwest Frontier Province or Balochistan, one of the two, right? No, Balochistan is on the West. Okay. This I is, was more like where Ladakh is. Got it. Like got uh, it. Kashmir part, like this got side, it. there's uh, like beautiful areas as well. So I was just making videos there. Mm. And then, yeah, and then my YouTube channel went pretty good. So I spent more time in the cities in Lahore. L let's talk about that North place where you went. What was yeah. it like, bro? Because beautiful, you, beautiful. You, you've like traveled all over the world. So from that perspective, what was special about that place? Um, it was, I would say, even even similar to India, it's like a hidden gem. Mm. You know, it doesn't have that much tourism, but it has a lot of potential if you would put the right infrastructure to it, mm. you know? So roads, <laughs> the roads were not the best, but the mountains are beautiful. Mm. And it's perfect for my, what I like, like adventure, you know, <laughs> new things. And people live their life very differently compared to the rest of Pakistan. Wow. Did you get any girl attention in Pakistan? I did. <laughs> you did? <laughs> And more in India though, okay. but, but uh, yeah, like, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But not, not like out there in the countryside. Uh, not in the countryside now. Okay. Okay. So uh, let's talk about the Pakistani cities again. Another topic that I feel a lot of Indians need to learn about, bro. Did you feel any significant differences between Pakistani cities like Karachi, Lahore versus Mumbai, Delhi, Bangalore, etc.? Um, I mean, the big cities in Pakistan are very, very different from like the rest of Pakistan. Meanwhile, as I think like even in uh, India, like smaller cities yeah. have a similar vibe mm. in terms of development and like yeah. people, how they like, you know, what they're into. Um, but like in Pakistan, I feel like there's like three major cities like Karachi, Lahore, Islamabad. Rest is more smaller on the development side and everything happened in these cities, you mm. know. So if you're into the industry, it's either Lahore or Karachi, mm. you know? You mean media? Yeah, like social media, Got it. movies, mm. like every like every major business is in one of these cities. Mm. So it's pretty developed actually, you know? Mm. I mean, uh, obviously they have their regulations being an Islamic state, like no bars, no clubs, yeah. you know? But people are very open there. They're super chill. And super good looking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Like, <laughs> you, you don't feel so? I mean, even in the North, like in Northern Pakistan, for example, people look like British. Yeah. yeah you seem yeah. like, uh, like girls having like different eye colors and, mm. uh, you know, the a man having like orange hair, they look like a Sheeran. Mm. I was like, hey, you're from England, dude. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? And he's like looking at me like he doesn't understand. <laughs> so it's, it's very, very different, you know? Yeah. I think, I think that part of, uh, Asia historically had a lot of mixed genetics. Yes. Uh, like it's where Alexander the Great actually stopped his whole conquest. Like oh. exactly that part, like the north of Pakistan, Punjab, all those parts. That explains Which is why Punjabis also kind of look fair. <laughs> <laughs> I've got some, I've got some European genetics. That's why I'm, I feel connected to Chris Betzman. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> no, but let, let's talk more about Pakistan, bro. Yeah, so uh, yeah, like... Tell, tell, me, tell me something more about the cities. Like, do they have like a partying culture? Do they have a nightlife? Because I've always wanted to visit Pakistan, like just to see what it's about and to kind of see the comparison between the two countries, dude. I feel 
media propaganda on both sides creates very negative outlooks uh, okay. in people's hearts about the other country. But it's not like that. When you actually meet Pakistanis abroad, when Pakistanis meet Indians abroad, there's a lot of bhai chara, which is, there's a lot of brotherhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, what, what's up in the cities? I mean, I just wanted to say, like, I just went to Korea. Yeah. And uh, I went with another Indian filmmaker and we met a lot of Pakistanis. So we were like, you know, <laughs> so it's it's all media and which is very sad, you know, but like, I would say the biggest difference is like in terms of uh, Pakistan being an Islamic state, they don't have that open party culture, you know, because if you- Even in the cities? Even in the cities. There's no single bar, no nightclub, nothing. Mm. So I feel like they're limited in certain ways of because of their religion, which you know how the youth is nowadays, you know, they like mm. to break the rules and stuff, you know, not everybody, but there's a party culture, but it's more like underground, I would say. Got it. Like it was in Dubai before. Huge underground. And then they opened up everything. Now mm. you see where they are. Which country has the most beautiful women in the world, according to you? In the world? In the world. Colombia? That is hard. <laughs> when I was in Colombia, I had a girlfriend that time. I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm super loyal. So like, but Colombia, yeah. Colombia has beautiful women. Yeah. Probably yeah. the most beautiful in the world. <sighs> They're supposed to be like the world's sexiest people. People in general. I like also like Eastern European. Eastern European. Eastern European. But then... Like, like South Americans have a more spirit, you know, they have more fire. Go, go and on. I like that. I like, you know, <laughs> so, little sassiness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know. It's hard to say, but South America is definitely there. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out the entire episode and also check out this playlist that we've curated just for you.